Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm in this video I'm going to be talking about the Jehovah's Witnesses. So um, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, please watch the full video. I want you to really get this information. Um, so first of all, I want to start off by saying um, the Jehovah's Witness concept of salvation is a little different from the Christian concept that we Christians hold. Um, Jehovah's Witnesses teach that there are three realms in the afterlife. First, there are the 144 thousand who are in the highest realm with God and faithful witnesses that are not in the that will not make it to the 144,000 will be in the next level and they're considered the little flock and they say uh, in the third realm everybody else who's in the third realm that they don't make it to the 144,000 or they don't make it to the to the little flock they say all those people are going to be annihilated they're going to cease to exist exist so these views are very much different from the Bible's presentation of heaven and hell as 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 the only two destinations after death pretty much. So so remember God is loving and God is good and there have been billions of souls that have that have been born over these past thousands of years. So out of billions of souls God is not going to just put a capacity of 144,000 in heaven. The the view that only 144,000 people are going to make it to heaven that's that's unbiblical that's that's insane actually to to be honest god's not going to put that capacity and say oh only 144,000 are in heaven rest of the souls they can be annihilated so go read what the bible says about salvation anybody can receive salvation through god's grace not just the 144,000 people so Jehovah's Witnesses, they say that you must be worthy through works to receive salvation. But Christ, as Christians, we know that we live in a fallen world. Works can't earn us salvation. Salvation is received through the grace of God. So also think about this. This is the Jehovah's Witness dilemma. If you're a Jehovah's Witness trying to convert people to your religion, what if you convert somebody that ends up being a better Jehovah's Witness than you and they take your spot in the 144,000 capacity I mean how how strange would that be so that's completely unbiblical or not God's, God had did not put a capacity of 144,000 in heaven and if you're a Jehovah's Witness please start thinking about these things and you're being fooled by by, by the cult and the sect you're in and also um, they claim that human souls do not exist but they also believe that hell does not exist but so in the description box of this video um, I have a couple of hell testimonies so please check it out if you don't believe hell, hell exists and also if you're still st skeptical if you still don't if you still are unsure about the existence of hell please pray to God earnestly and say God give me a vision of hell I want to see what hell looks like I want to see what a hell if hell is real and tell me tell me if you get any visions if you get any dreams share it tell me what God shows you and also, next time a Jehovah's Witness knocks on your door, remind them that the Christianity we have today, it was formed by the original apostles who lived with Jesus. Jehovah, remember, Jehovah's Witnesses was formed 1,800 years after Jesus' birth. I'm not sure if the number is exactly 1,800 years, but it's around that number. So, so you're telling me a cult that was started 1,800 years after Jesus' birth is more accurate than... A religion started by the original apostles and also the Jehovah's Witnesses they perverted they have a perverted version of the Bible and they claim claim that the Christian Bible has been changed remind them that we Christians we have thousands upon thousands of ancient manuscripts that we can verify the Bible we have right now with the most famous of these being the Dead, Scre Dead Sea Scrolls with some some of it date back to 250 BC and I also remember the Watchtower Society um, changes the the Jehovah's Witness Bible when they find a verse in the in the Bible that con con contradicts with their belief. So they say the Christian Bible has been changed, but they're always changing their Bible to make up for contradictions about their beliefs. And also, um, the Jehovah's Witnesses claim that um, Jesus was he was not crucified on a cross. They say he was crucified on a pole. So like he hanged on a on a pole. They say something like that. So this is completely untrue. Um, the atheist historians, the Roman historians, the Jewish histo historians. I'm not just. Um, let, let's just put the Christian historians first. I like I say the atheist historians, the Roman historians, the Jewish historians, the unbelieving historians. Um, talk to any of them. A any serious historian will tell you that Jesus of Nazareth was crucified on a cross and. 
to claim that Jesus was not on a cross, to claim that Jesus was on a pole, I mean, where, I don't I don't understand where they would get an idea like that. Um, so also, once a person gets into the cult of the Jehovah's Witnesses, they're pretty much in a big mess. If they try to disagree with their doctrine, they can get shunned. And I actually know a Jehovah's Witnesses family that they don't speak to one of their sons anymore because their son left the Jehovah's Witnesses. So they'll they'll to to, to their members they'll try they they they'll try to scare with these tactics like oh if you leave if you leave the Jehovah's Witnesses you're not going to see your family anymore you're not going to see your friends. So people the members in the cult they're encouraged to stay because they realize if they try to leave they might lose all their friends and family. So. Also remember, all these sects and all these cults like the Mormons, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they have created so much divisions within the body of Christ. And that's honestly, that's a shame that these cults and these sects, they made people depart away from the faith. Also, I want to speak on the growth of atheism. If, if these sects, the Jehovah's Witnesses, if the the Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons and sects like that, um, if we Christians spent less time trying to actually we, christians spent so much time trying to like fight like scripturally fighting these sects and trying to convert them into christianity that we kind of left a atheism to the side we didn't really worry about the atheism that's that's how we didn't really worry about the atheism and all of a sudden this new um, movement called the new atheist they grew out of nowhere and i believe the mormons and the jehovah's witnesses they're they're partly responsible for the gro growth of atheism because they distracted the Christians and the Christians forgot about the atheists and I believe what happened is that the atheists when they came out of nowhere we were were like where, where they come from and then if you think about it um all the time the Christians they they've been focusing on dealing with the sects and dealing with the cults and getting into arguments about scripture the the atheists were left to the side for a while and they just grew to what they are now I mean. You know, you know what I'm talking about with people like Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris. I mean, they mock religion and yeah, I don't want to get into too much of that. So um, I encourage if you're a Jehovah's Witness, I encourage you to come to the truth of Christianity. If you don't believe hell is real, if you don't believe a person's soul exists, please pray to God. He'll give you the answers you need. He'll reveal the truth to you. And I prayed my prayers were answered. And I wasn't always a Christian. I used to be an atheist. I prayed my prayers were answered. So I, I encourage you to try the same. I understand that if if you tr if you're a Jehovah's Witness and you you're thinking about leaving the cult, you might be discouraged because you you might realize, well, you may lose all your friends, you may lose all your family, everybody you pretty much know. So don't be discouraged. Remember what Jesus said about your who your real family is. He said that your real family are those that do the will of God. So Jehovah's Witnesses are not doing the will of God. They are using a perverted version of the Bible and they are preaching a false doctrine. And also, there's probably no religious group that is more faithful than the Jehovah's Witnesses at, at getting their message out. And it's unfortunately, the message they're spread, spreading is full of distortions, deceptions, and false doctrine. May God open the eyes of the Jehovah's Witnesses to the truth of the gospel and the true teaching of God's word. Also, in the description box of this video, I have a message about the end times. Please spread that message. Warn people who have not been warned yet. And all, God bless you and all glory to God. Thanks for listening.